All right, I am so excited. Here it is. This is the Ocean KG-1000G. Look at that, I already popped the, the lid on it. I'm not doing an unboxing. Don't worry, this is all about an install. But I do wanna show you this bad boy um, before I get going. There's, I'll, I'll put some links to other videos that go through the um, you know, unboxing and talk about the performance of the radio. But look at that angle. I'm so excited about this. And the whole front piece comes off. Ugh, got it. So this part, one of the main reasons I got this one, well, a couple of reasons, but was that this is detachable and you can mount this anywhere else in the truck. So my goal right now, and we'll see how it goes with the install, this is gonna go under the, the driver's seat and I'll, I'll mount this up on the dash. So, uh, and we'll see, I can, I can, you can make it straight or curved. But that's, that's the radio itself. And let's see if there's anything else in here worth looking at. Eh, you know, not really. Let's look at the antenna. Here's the present. Look at this. This is the NL77G. So there you go. There it is. I'll give all the specs and everything to all this stuff, but look at that. So this is gonna go on the front driver's side of my truck up uh, near the hood. That's the the spot I decided, we're, again, we're gonna see how this goes. It may all change completely by the time I'm done. Let's see what other goodies we have in here. There's something else in there. It's just the bag. All right. Well, this came out of the bag. So what this is, I'm not even gonna show you that, but this is the cable. This is gonna go to the, the mount on the outside of my truck to the bottom of the antenna. And this will get wired through, assuming it'll end up at the engine compartment down and connect to my radio. Okay, back to the radio. This, I'll tell you, I mean, I looked a lot for this, uh, around for these, but this mount, um, this one is a screw mount that I'm not really happy with. They do have custom mounts that fit in my truck, but that's $36, $37 for that bracket. This was $6. So, all right. Stay tuned, uh, stay tuned for the install of the Ocean KG-1000G. Here we go, so I'm in my truck, so it's 2019 F-250. And what I've got, at least what I'm planning to do here, is to take this front piece, but I'm gonna mount this up on my dash, kind of up on the top, above my uh, main display and this the main body part with the extended they come with an extended cable that I can run I'm gonna put this on the bracket but I'm gonna lay that underneath my driver's seat so that way um, this is nowhere mounted up in my because I don't have a little a lot of room or places a lot of people mount it you know under here under the dash or under the steering column to the right or left there's just not a lot of room and I didn't really like that, having it, the bulky piece there. So so the first thing I'm gonna do, as much as I like the angle that this piece is on, if I were mounting it on, you know, on the unit itself, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this um, curved piece that you can see with a, a flat back so that when it's on the dash, it'll come straight out. So I'm gonna go ahead, it's just a couple small screws that you take this plate off and then you add the screws to put this plate back on. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I always drop screws. So, and these are tiny little black screws and I have a black floor in my truck. There you have it. Now, instead of the right angle, I just have a flat piece. So what you do now is you take, this is the mounting plate that you use. So I'll put this on the back and this is what I'll, I'll you know, I'll clip it in place. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna use some brackets here. I gotta go get them at Home Depot. Um, but I'm gonna use some brackets here to mount it to my, uh, the plastic, but that'll be how it sits. Here is where I'm planning to mount this guy. Um, it's gonna be my first check. I'll put it on some brackets so it'll just sit right here. 
just right over the rest of my control center here or my console, however you want to call it. Um, if this fails, I may end up just putting the unit down here, the full unit, or or maybe you know just mount this or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. It's just kind of the fun of installing all this, right? You get to kind of figure it out as you go. So what I'm doing now, I'm just pulling back pretty hard to get these, see if these tabs will release. All right, y'all, that just became a little violent, but I got it out with my hand. So you can see right here, there's three tabs. And really, the way I did it, I couldn't do it with one hand, is I pulled on this corner to pop that tab. I thought there was only another tab over here, but it finally, I kind of pulled dead center and up and towards me. And as I did that, it popped up. So now I'm inside. This edge right here is where I'm gonna connect the brackets mounted right here, okay? with brackets connected behind it that are gonna come through this plastic piece here. So now, and then I'll drill a hole for the cable. That'll be all invisible to me as the driver, passengers, everything. And then I'm, now I'm looking at routing everything down into the dash. In these situations now, when I'm trying to route down the dash, I don't know why I'm laughing, but fish tape is your friend. I wanna say that I bought this no joke, when I was probably 19 years old, I, I guess, decades now. The other thing I was going to say, you know, I've been missing Phillips screwdrivers. Phillips screwdrivers. So I went down the shop to grab uh, my ratchet and the fish tape, and oh my goodness, these are all Phillips heads. So either... I don't know where I put my tools or I'm being cleaned up after. Um, I'll let y'all decide which one that is, but okay. So for now, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna fish down. If I can get, I can kind of see through to the, the bottom pretty good. I'll put a light down and then I'm just gonna fish down and get in. If I can get down there, this is the cable, right? That's gonna connect from my unit to the, the little dash piece. And, and I'll just pull that back up. I'll tape it around, protect these clips and protect this end. So I've got the, the fish tape through. If you can see this a little far away, and this is my line, I'm gonna use electrical tape um, that I'm gonna wrap it pretty good. There it is, that's how it looks. Got it on there pretty good, press the tape down and I'm gonna start pulling it through. So you can see, if you can see from there, this is my, I'll, I'll call it my control cable. I'm not sure what they call it. Um, that is routed up. So I'm, I'm positioned to where now I can mount my dashboard. Or the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my electrical. And what I've decided to do is to run this to my upfitter switches, um, which I have up here. And I'm going to run it to one of those and I'll show you that in a minute. But of course I've got to route this through the cab along with my antenna cable. So now I'm going to look for at the bottom near my, uh, my left foot on the driver's side, look for the, the through hole. Cause that's where I'm going to mount on the driver's side. I'm going to mount my antenna. And while we're talking about the antenna or at least routing both at the same time. So this is the cable. This right is going to come into the back of my unit. So this I need to fish through as well as the, the power end to the unit. So these two will fish through the firewall in the truck and come into the cab um, and connect to the back of the radio. So here we are, driver's side up in the left corner, right? So there's the steering linkage, steering column going down. Hopefully you can see this okay. And right there's a boot with all the main wires coming in. And you can see where my screwdriver is stuck in. So you have to move those wires out of the way. And you'll see this little circle. Okay, and then I, I use my knife, kind of a sharp end of a knife to kind of cut a, a little T. And then I stuck my um, screwdriver through. I did the same on the other side and I'll show you where that's at. There's a good shot. 
So it's really that tip. Now I can, I'm gonna end up having to cut more of that um, off to get my wires through, but that just shows that I'm through the firewall right now. So now I'm gonna work on getting my um, power cable and my antenna cable through that hole. Make it a little bit bigger. So here I am, I have my fish tape through, right through the inside on that little circle area that I showed you through the, the nipple side on this. But this is gonna be pretty big. I, I might have to cut that rub, uh, rubber grommet a little bit more, but I'm gonna try, hopefully that angle, but I just gotta be careful with my antenna. I don't wanna bend it. To change of plants. The problem I'm having is that is just too big and I'd have to cut a huge hole or drill a hole in the firewall. I really, in the, the grommet, I really don't wanna do that. And plus I'm starting to mess this up, which you can see that is gonna affect my antenna performance. I don't wanna do that. So, you can see right there, I just look underneath the truck and there's a grommet, pop that up. I'm running the wires because everything's going underneath my seat. I'm gonna run the antenna and the power through there just to make it easy. It's gonna drop right through the bottom. Okay, so right here is your uplift for switches um, at wires and all, all the fuses, right? So if I open this up handed, so there's all my fuses. There's all my upfitter fuses. And all the cables, you can see all the colored cables right there are all the upfitter cables that route into the cab. So what I did, is I grabbed the gray and brown cable right here. And I just, you know, this is how I usually do it. It's not the best, but I just wound them together and taped it. Um, later on, I can come back and clean that up. But, and then I mounted the ground to here and then just cable tied everything here. My antenna cable is coming up here as well. And it's all zip tied in. I'm just, Gonna wait and uh, decide what bracket I want to use, but everything is zip tied underneath. So right there is where it comes out of the cab, right? I'll put some silicone around that grommet so it doesn't leak, and then I just zip tied, and I kept them separate. I kept the antenna cable routing separate from the power line, but I still need to trim all these off. But I just routed it right up, and if you can see that, right up into the engine compartment, okay? So it's pretty safe. It went along the main wire bundle, zip tied all the way along pretty tight. Okay, so I need to silicone that up and, and seal it. I'll, I'll do that from both the top and the bottom just to make sure it's got a good seal. All right, it's still not all set up yet, but I connected the face because I'm gonna test the radio. Turn the key on. I wired it to upfitter four. Channel load. And there we go. So it is got power and the connections are working. But right here, if I turn off up the, my aux four switch, and that's kind of how I wanted to design it. I wanted to be able to have it on or off whenever. Right, I'm gonna put the bracket on this because I want it to sit up off the ground um, so it doesn't get too hot, right? That it gets a little bit of airflow underneath. Uh, I've seen other people do that. So right now I'm just gonna, I've gotten the, the bracket that came with it and I'm just mounting it just like I would in the truck. And I'm gonna go ahead and put all four bolts in here. Bracket is on, I'm gonna position it. Before I kind of set and silicone all these cables, I'm gonna go ahead and set this in place. And I'm not gonna bolt it to the floor. I'm gonna get some Velcro and put on the bottom, some rough Velcro just to keep it from moving, but uh, I don't expect it to move too much. I showed you all the wiring underneath the truck into the, the cab, powered on. Now I'm gonna use some silicone I'm gonna put silicone on top of the wires as they go through the, the floor of the truck, and I'm gonna put silicone on the bottom, and I'm gonna fill the grommet full of silicone. There you go, it ain't pretty, but it's gonna work. And there you go, I'm gonna let it dry. So now I've gotta route this cable that goes up top to the control. I mean, it's already routed down, I just need to, I'm gonna route it back kinda of along the back, zip tied up stuff all over my hand zip tie it up come over here and then kind of down the seam and then run it underneath and then up right there where those wires are coming out you can see and i got the radio back in there 
So I'll connect those up. So it'll just come right through this flap with the other stuff. This bracket is meant to, it's a generic bracket, right? And it's meant to just have three screws and mount on here, or really, I'm sorry, like that, right? And I don't know, it needs to come up a little bit. Um, I don't know, I don't like it. Just got back from the store. All right, see how that is so much better than just a right angle? It's made specifically for my truck. Mounts to that, no screws, I need to drill, and the antenna will mount right on here outside of the, the hood. Okay, I got the brackets, I got some screws, and I got some bolts. And the way this is gonna work, this bracket is gonna mount right against that plastic and come up, and that's what the radio face is gonna mount on. And, and then I'll just snap this back in place and all will be good. So I mounted the brackets, just put one bolt through. I'd probably get away with just one. I'll test it out and see. The key is just making sure where these arrows is the way that it slides onto your face that you know which is top and bottom, okay? So this is the top of the radio. So what this is gonna do now is I'm gonna position this and I'll drill some holes through the plastic. There you go. Two screws mounted, so the bracket now sits on there. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this back in place and put the screen back on. All right, there it is. So that's how um, it's gonna look going down. Pretty clean. Flip on my Aux 4. Sweet. <laughs>